This is Toast Training for setting up a check and splitting and combining checks. It is under Operations, Toast, Normal Operations, Training Number 3. So setting up a check is uh, a little bit more than um, just opening it up on a table. Um, that's obviously the, the first part of it. Um, but one of the big things that we do want to focus on is taking down the number of guests. Uh, this helps us just with our financials and we understand how many people we have coming through, what's our throughput. I'm gonna assume that there's two people right now. Um, that's the base expectation I would make is do the best that you can as kind of a higher level expectation. Um, as people add themselves to the table, it would be great if um, folks could update the number of guests. My understanding is this is for the entire table, not per tab. So if there's six people at the table, uh, but there's three tabs, you should hit six. And frankly, every single time you add an additional tab, it's going to automatically add another person. So we do get some idea of it, um, but <clears throat> we would like to have as, as, as much of an accurate understanding of the number of people as possible. So with more than one person at a table, uh, I'm going to start talking to them about what they'd like. And as soon as the first person orders, I'm gonna ask if they would like to pay together or separate. Um, if they wanna pay together, then it's, uh, it's the same question either way. It's like, can I get a card for your tab then please? Or you take that person's order, you say, well, can I get a, a card for your tab? And then you take the other person's order and you get a card for their tab as well. Um, now there's a button here that says tab. You could literally um, hit that button and then swipe a credit card and it would take the credit card's information and give you a name up here. It says number 34, table 503. Then it would give you um, the, the name of the credit card. That's fantastic, but that doesn't protect our money. It just gives you a tab name. So you want to um, swipe a card at any time under the correct tab, okay? I'm gonna try and do this without it. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Maybe I got it. All right, perfect. So my name pops up up top, and the key thing that we're looking for right here is pre-authorized. That's that's the big thing that we want. That green bar. That means if they if they run, we can charge their card. We have had an instance where the person's card was bad, or they very well could have just turned it off and knowingly ran, um, which is honestly what I think they did. Um, so, uh, it's an important just to keep on top of people as well, but the pre-authorization is protection of our money. If it fails, um, I will often ask for another card. Like if the card doesn't read, then I definitely ask for another card. And I have dealt with a lot of cards recently that have been broken and just don't, don't go very well. Um, Sometimes it won't look like it's pre-authorized or it'll have a problem, but um, it's actually fine. Um, so just use good judgment. Um, I would prefer, again, that we always get people's cards, but if our system is acting up and it's not behaving and you've tried a couple times and it won't pre-authorize, like some debit cards will not pre-authorize, then just let it go. Um, you have their tab name, just make sure that you close them out at the end of the day um, when they leave. So that is really setting up a check. And then what you're gonna do, obviously you're gonna take an order. So the assumption was actually this person had ordered. So they had a, a, a glass of order, and a, a glass of water. And if there's multiple people at the table, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit stay, okay? I'm gonna get that drink going. Um, that's just how I, lock, that's how I like to operate. The other way you could do it, um, <clears throat> Actually, I don't know that there's another good way of doing it. If you hit hold, it kicks you out. So to me, that's not the good way of doing it. Um, I don't like doing it that way because I wanna remain on my screen to make sure that I can keep taking orders. The tricky thing about splitting tabs is that you can't split them until you have something to split. Um, so now that I have two items, I can make two different checks. I'm gonna hit the split button right here. I'm gonna select one or all the items and then I'm gonna click on new check. Hit done. Then you have this tab here, and you have one that has both not been sent because it's red, and then it also has no tab name at the top. So then you're gonna ask that person for, for their card as well. We're going to, sorry, swipe that through. Did it work? Uh, doesn't look like it, sorry guys. 
Got it. Pre-authorized. Okay. It still hasn't been sent. <clears throat> so I'm going to get that drink going. I'm going to hit stay. <clears throat> All right. What if people sit down and they say, you know what? Um, we would like two waters. Just like that. What's a number two? All right. You hit stay, but you need to split it. So it's kind of a double split. You hit split and then it's like, well, the item is still there. Okay. So you're going to select the item and then hit this split at the top again. It's going to ask you how many ways you want to split it. There's obviously only two items. So you want to split it two ways. They could do it funkier if you want to do that, but that one person wants to leave that glass of water on their first tab. And then we're going to make a new tab down here um, for this for this new glass of water, and I'm gonna hit done. So those are all <clears throat> those are all now nicely split. If they come at the end and said, you know what, I'm actually gonna pay for everybody. Like how how do I combine all these things easily? So you can select them all and you can um, move them back into one check. You hit done. Um, there's still a pre-authorization on this one tab but there's nothing in there, but the tab is still there. Now, if they pay, everything is on one. Let's split those back. Okay. Uh, if you wanna do it uh, maybe arguably a little faster of a way, you hit split and then immediately hit by seat number, boom. And it moves everything back into one tab and it actually gets rid of the other pre-authorization completely. So, um, <clears throat> that's a bit funky, actually, if you think about it. If the first order is not the one that wants to pay for everything, you would obviously need to then take a different credit card when they go to cash out. But it is a very quick and easy way of combining. The last thing with this I want to show is there is yet again another split button down here. Um, and because I have nothing in here of any value... I think it just cashed that out completely. Um, let's do a draft beer. I don't believe this is saying. Okay, if I go to pay then, all right, now I have this split button at the bottom. And then, you know, you could rack up an entire table. Um, <clears throat> and if there are nine people at the table, you could split that nine ways. And the way that works is it legitimately splits it into nine and it asks you to take a 59 cent, cent payment. And then it's like, would you like to pay the rest of like the next one and the next one and the next one? And you just kind of keep keep going and going and going until until you're complete. That is splitting and combining.